Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kaiju Otaku here bringing you another video now. As the year is ending, I want to go over all the stuff that happened throughout this entire year at each and every convention. And with that being said, uh, no, this isn't a video of me quitting. Um, as I don't know what time I'm going to be giving it, probably end of the year cosplay review or whatever, but that doesn't mean I'm quitting cosplay at all, period. I know the title sounds like I'm quitting cosplay, but no, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm more gonna just like go over like all the stuff that's happened throughout this entire year of 2019 because 2019 is pretty much ending at this point in time and we're gonna be heading into 2020 so that's gonna be cool. Um, is there anything else I wanted to get out of the way before I start this video? Oh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, oh, new look by the way. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. Now, before I continue the video, um, I'm just gonna put a quick disclaimer that this video is gonna be a little bit drawn out. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but... Oops, sorry, I had a burp. Um, regardless, um, it, I don't know if this video is gonna be drawn out or not, because a lot of stuff did happen this year, but... First off, let's just start off with Katsukon, because that comes usually around, like, every February or so. Um... Not much happened at Capcom. I pretty much all I did at Capcom was vlog, go went to a rave as usual, and went to a Resident Evil show, which that first show was high key fun. And I pretty much hung out with friends as usual, did my usual shtick um, there at Katsu. Um, I like I said, didn't do much at Katsu besides just go to raves and just hung out with friends, took photos, you know, the usual stuff that I normally do at conventions. Now on to the next convention. Now, it's been a few years uh, since we had a con in Richmond. Now, GalaxyCon was like the first con in a good... Since 2017, we had a con in Richmond called uh, Wizard World Richmond, which that was around like 2015, 2016, I believe. Um, we haven't had a con in Richmond in a good while, like a big or a medium-sized one in Richmond in a good while. However, there was GalaxyCon, which... I haven't been upstage in a while, um, I usually go upstage every now and then, uh, but, um, I did get Jamie March, um, before I go, why I went upstage and all that good stuff, but, first of all, um, I got Jamie March's autograph, and the lady who voiced Mocha from Rosario Vampire, and Jamie March's the lady who voiced Penny from Pain Stocking, I got the, both of their autographs, like, in one go, like, I kind of line hopped a little bit is what I did, but regardless, um, I did go, I have wall cosplay and Dante from Devil May Cry 3, I got to swing around this bad boy, the Rebellion from DMC3, cause you know, I haven't been up stage in a good while, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go do the masquerade, I haven't done that in a while, so, with that being said, I'll show you a clip from that. It's been a good year or so since I started interacting with people in the cosplay community in general because usually whenever I do these masquerades like what I just showed you in that clip, I get stuck in a green room for like 
I don't know how many hours, like two or three hours, that's the thing, but regardless, um, I usually get stuck in a green room for like two to three hours, maybe an hour or two, but, so, it's been a while since I've interacted with the cosplay community, but, I'll, I mean, I'll still go up stage every now and then during conventions, like, cause I believe I'm going up stage during GalaxyCon 2020 in February, but regardless, um, it's been a while since I've interacted with people in the cosplay community, which high key is fun. Um, I actually like doing it, and all honesty, I'm not gonna lie about that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened at GalaxyCon. I hung out with friends. I went off stage for a little bit, um, and I got two of my favorite voice actors autograph. And what else did I do? And I vlogged. So with that being said, on to the next convention. Boom, boom, boom. Now, another con I thoroughly enjoyed helping out with was my friend's con, uh, Getaway Con, which is basically J Japanese for gateway, for a gateway to anime, more or less. But it's a, a convention in Richmond at the public library. Uh, I'm trying to remember which. Libby Mail Library, that's it. Libby Mail Library. Um, we'll probably post links in the description, but it's, I, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Um, my friend started it in 2017, which, surprisingly enough, was a success. We had like 40 to 45 people uh, come to the Levy Metal Library. And it was honestly fun. I also got to host a panel there on Cosplay and 101. Like, just pretty much all the topics that go into cosplay, for minus the posing, which I'm going to do for a, for uh, 2020's con. Um, and, of course, we ended up just pretty much, like... I just pretty much vlogged the entire mini-con, but it's a mini-con in the Richmond Public Library, like, not, because there's, like, a few different libraries in Richmond, believe it or not, but it's at the Libby Mill, which I already said before, but regardless, um, it was a fun con. Like I said, I got to host a panel there, which was my first panel that I ever hosted, which I'm quite proud of, um, and also one of my other friends hosted the panel there as well, which was pretty cool. Um, he did surprisingly well. Um, I'm proud of him. Good to see you, Scorpion, if you're watching this. Um, but other than that, that's, uh, that was around July-ish. Um, now on to Scares I Care and why I didn't go to Otakon. So, next. Now, another con I wanted to go over that um, I didn't go to, which was Otakon. And let me just address why I didn't wasn't able to go, because I did not have the funds. It costed a lot, and I'm just like... No, I'm gonna go to Scares That Care instead. Um, that's part of, like, that's the only reason why I wasn't able to go to Otakon and why I had to opt out and skip it. Um, but other than that, um, I went to Scares That Care instead. Cause, spoiler alert, um, yeah, that's pretty much a spoiler alert. I went to Scares That Care over Otakon. But regardless, Scares That Care was a, pretty much a laid back convention. I got to go upstage as Pyramid Head for once cause I haven't put Pyramid Head upstage at all my entire life. Not since I first made the costume. I just usually wore them. I didn't know anything about masquerades by that time, by that point in time. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put Pyramid Head up stage and whatnot. Um, a lot of people thought I was the Pyramid Head from Silent, the Silent Hill movie, but no. Um, the Pyramid Head I was was the one from Silent Hill 2, the video game over Homecoming and the movie. Um, but regardless, I donated a little bit to that, uh, convention Scares That Care because it's a charity slash horror convention and surprisingly it's really laid back and really fun. Like, like I went to, like, at least one panel because I was stuck in the green room once again because I'm, I don't know why that, why that looked like I was one psychotic mode. But regardless, I was stuck in the green room for, like, I think three or four hours, um, while waiting for the other... Uh, other competition to go go up or whatever, um, which was pretty much kids first and then adults second, which all the adults were pretty much second in the line, and it took roughly two to three hours, I believe. I'm I wasn't counting, but it felt like a freaking eternity. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but regardless, it's just what it was. It was a fun convention. I actually met some new people. Um, like I said, I rarely interact with people in the cosplay community until this year because. Like I said, I'm always stuck in a green room for two to three hours, and that usually sucks. So that's why I stopped doing ma masquerades and doing them every now and then, but not that often. Because um, I don't like being stuck and wasting like two to three hours on something that's going to take a long time and to go upstage. But going upstage is cool and everything, but regardless, um, Scares of Care, I know I'm going off topic, but Scares of Care, fun convention, I highly recommend it, and... 
And it's also a charity convention as well, which is also good, a good for going for a good cause. Um, and also I met the lady who played Vasquez from Aliens. Um, she was super nice and super sweet. Um, high key, she aged like fine wine. Positive. Um, and, that, and I got her autograph as well, which is in one of my previous videos. Um, what else? Happened that scares I care. That's pretty much all that happened. I went off stage and also I cosplayed Zombie Stocking and Pyramid Head. Like I said, a lot of people were thinking I was from the Silent Hill movie. Yes, that is true. Pyramid Head is from the shit, shitty Silent Hill film. But, play the video games, my friend. They're much better than the movies, in my opinion. Has lots of perfect atmosphere and creepy atmosphere as well. But with that being said, on to the next convention, which is... I'm blanking out on which convention it was, but I'll, I'll, I'll remember when I look at my script. Next! Now, another fun con that was pretty much laid back in general was Shobukon. Now, I didn't do much about Shobukon besides just kind of walk around, browse the dealer's room, and get some stuff from one of my friend's birthday because his birthday is on 9-11. Um, I didn't really do much there besides uh, cosplay Dante from DMC3 again because I Dante seems to do really well compared to pretty much... Not compare, but to DMC 3, Dante seems to be more popular with everybody now these days. Because, you know, DMC 5 just released, not just released, released like months ago around this year. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I mean, I did have the hat for Dante, but um, I did the Dance of Smooth Criminal. Sadly, I do not have footage of that because um, I don't know if anybody was allowed to film in there or not. Oh, well, but regardless, I did the Dance of Smooth Criminal and it was like... I never heard a crowd go nuts in my entire life, like, everyone was cheering and laughing all at the same time, because, you know, Dante does, it, like, when it comes to Dante, he does not care, he'll use anything as a weapon, even a fucking fedora, for fuck's sake, but, pardon my French there, sorry if I dropped two F-bombs, but, um, regardless, yeah, I did the Dance of Smooth Criminal for Dante from DMC3, and pretty much, I just hung out with my friends, you know, uh, went around the dealer's room, took photos, same usual shtick I normally do. Uh, but that's probably it for Shobukon, because it was laid back, it was pretty much chill, nothing too crazy. Um, but with that being said, uh, on to the zombie walk, I guess, because that's pretty much all I did. And, of course, around October, I went to the RVA zombie walk, which was pretty fun. Uh, like I said, it's another charity event in Richmond this time around. Uh, Scares Like Care was in Williamsburg, Virginia. And, what else? Yeah, it was... RVA Zombie Walk, it's one of those fun zombie walks, you get to be a zombie for a day, and you get to pretty much donate to a charity event, which is for the Cancer Research Society. And I pretty much cosplayed William Birkin, and I was looking for my Sherry, because she is missing. My daughter is missing. But regardless, um, yeah, I didn't do much at the zombie walk, besides walk around like a dead zombie, or a brain dead zombie while cosplaying William Birkin. Um... And donated to some charity, and also I went to raves as usual. The usual stuff I do normally do around every, not every, well, pretty much every year. But as of recently, there hasn't been that many raves around Richmond uh, for the past like month or so, or mainly this month right here. But there should be a rave around February, so hope I'm kind of excited for that. <laughs> And with that being said, let's go on to NecoCon, which is pretty much the end, uh, nearing the end of the year. And lastly, I want to talk about NecoCon 2019, and boy, that was a great year to actually end the year off of a bang. Well, not end the year, not legit end the year off of a bang, but it ended my convention off of, ended my convention year off of a bang, more or less. But short ver um, pretty much I hosted three photo shoots this year, Vocaloid, Mortal Kombat, and I'm looking out, and Resident Evil. And let me tell you something. The Lin Kuei took over NecoCon, which was only three of the Lin Kuei members, and he, Shirai Ryu. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Smoke, which, shout out to those people who cosplayed... Mmm, sorry, had to burp again, fuck. Um, another F-bomb drop, um, but, yeah, um, what's it called? I'm blanking out, sorry, I just had a brain fart. Okay, now I remember, um... So Lin Kuei came to, Lin Kuei and Shirai Ryu came to the photo shoot. And that was fun, um, honestly. And also, another thing I want to say is, like, shout out to the huge Umbrella Court members that came to the Resident Evil photo shoot. We pretty much took over NecoCon in general. We, 
like literally like no joke there was only like two first it started off as two umbrella court members like looking for william birkin uh, during the photo shoot and what had happened was i'm like okay umbrella court members let's go look for the other umbrella court members so what had happened was we just pretty much tagged all the umbrella court members that was that was that was in the convention center and we said come on let's go to the fountain and of course there was only one joe one Chris Redfield and a bunch of Umbrella Court members and there was a Nemesis which was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, and also I went to another rave at the convention at uh, NecoCon. And... The band, you know what? Screw it. Play it. I'm gonna show a clip right now. Play it. There's my Vocaloid shoot that I hosted, which, man, that, like, a, more Vocaloids came this year than last year. Like, I was so surprised with the turnout with all three of my photo shoots, which made me high-key happy. And, like, I'm just like, you know, this is actually pretty, this was actually a pretty good turnout this year. Like, I'm quite proud of myself that I'm bringing the community together over, like, tearing it apart. Not tear, like, I'm not tearing it apart at all, but I'm just saying, I'm happy that I'm bringing a community together over, like, Communities tearing each other apart because that's nothing I'm gonna cover in another video foreshadowing am I right? Um, but other than that NecoCon, I ended NecoCon off of a blast this year, and I'm quite proud of myself Um, and like I said, I've com I connected with more of the community than I normally do because I usually go up stage and Usually I'm in a green room for like two to three hours give or take sometimes four sometimes three who knows <laughs> um but regardless, yeah, um, I enjoyed, uh, connecting with the cosplay community in general. With the Vocaloid fandom, the Resident Evil fandom, and the Mortal Kombat fandom. And it made me super happy this year. I mean, the Mortal Kombat shoot might have been small, but regardless, the turnout made me happy. And that's all that matters. Now, on to the conclusion and the end of the video. And thus ends the video for 2019, and we are going to be moving on to 2020 soon. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Um, I should have my con schedule up um, somewhere around January 9th, January 11th. I don't know when, but it's somewhere around January. But with that being said, this is the only video I had planned for this year, or, or for the end of the year, more or less. I didn't have a Christmas video planned out. I do humbly apologize for that, or a Christmas special planned out, whatever. Because, um, like I said, I work pretty much every single week, which sucks. <laughs> And I haven't like zero. I haven't had zero time to myself. I only get two days off, and that's not enough for me. But regardless, um, there's really not much to talk about except that uh, all I gotta say is Happy New Year's, Happy Merry Christmas, and Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. And this has been a, pretty much a general bit, uh, yearly video of pretty much what's happened in the entire year of me going to conventions. Now, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next video, and I'll post my comp schedule up at some point this year. Or not this year, next year. Um, by next year, I mean around January. Because um, that's when I'll know if I'm going to all these conventions and whatnot, and I'll have a list ready. Uh, well, my list is already ready, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next video, and peace out. Take care. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, well, happy early New Year. So, I'm out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Take care.